17 grandchildren. Yes. And great grandchildren? Seven. Seven, quite a bit. So the question here is how do you do it? What is it? What is it that, that gives you your, your spark, your energy? You, 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 you live here by yourself, you clean, you run, you help your, you pick up your friends in the car, you take them to doctors, you do everything for everyone else, you do your shopping, you do everything by yourself, you, you clean, I mean, it's like there's nothing you can't do. What is it that gives you this energy, that gives you the health, obviously, you know, the blessings that you have, but can you tie it into psychological for the mind, like, Basically, I, can, I already know part of the equation is my mother does not carry baggage. She does not take things to bed with her. She does not worry. Yes, everyone faces stresses. Everyone has to face the challenge of life. Okay. Positive attitude. Okay, but there's one thing I notice that you do. Two things. The first thing, from a psychological perspective, what do you do that a lot of people don't do is that you don't dwell on the negative. You don't, do not dwell on the negative. Correct. And that's a, a very important learning task for all of us. When we dwell on the negative, what are we doing? We are increasing cortisol levels. We are increasing adrenaline. We are increasing the fight or flight. We are increasing all the negative catecholamines and all the ne negative neurochemicals in our body that destruct our cells. Now think about it, that when we're stressed, things break down. When we're stressed, the immune system gets weak. So from that perspective, we got that straight, that from a psychological perspective, we cannot dwell on the negative because it's going to kill us earlier. It's going to make us sick. There's no question. I'm sure that everyone can agree with that. All right? Well, you agree with that, right? Absolutely. Okay. But the, the thing is, uh, I have a very supportive family who are always there for each other and me at any time. Uh, it, I am very blessed to have them surrounding me. And... My life is surrounding them, and my life is because of them. Okay, well, let me say something. Because the people out there who are watching right now, they're saying how beautiful you are. More than one, more than 10, more than 20, more than 30. And they're saying they, they love you. Um, thank you so much. That's very nice. I, wanna, thank you. I want you to know that. Go ahead. Keep going. Thank you. Well, I'm very blessed Go ahead. that I, I have a son like this school. All right, all right. One. This is about you. Go I ahead. I can't brag about him. Okay, enough. go ahead. And he has been there for me constantly, and I've learned so much from him. Despite the fact of what I taught him when he was younger, he's taught me more now that he is older and wiser and knows so much more than I ever did. Well, and so uh, how else can I not be happy? I, I look forward to seeing my children as often as I can. And just being with them, to me, is the biggest joy of my life. Okay, all right. So we talk about from a psychological perspective. This is a very good educational thing because instead of just coming to YouTube and saying, okay, eat this, eat that, there's much more to life than just food. Yeah. All right? Our attitude, our exercise, our, mm -hmm. our, our spirituality, if it's God, if it's Jesus, if it's any type of... Yeah, go ahead. You feed on love. Love's That's big. That's your best Yeah, I, I agree. I agree. I agree. Yeah. I agree. Thank you, that, Gloria. Very nice. She says you have a beautiful mother. Thank you. Um, so, okay, secondly, we, we first cover the fact that from an emotional point of view, if you just tuned in, uh, Dr. Bedell, my mother, my beautiful mother, um, you can call me Alan, you can call me Alan Mandel, it doesn't matter what you want to call me, but we have Late to... to dinner. Okay, we, we have to separate the entity of, of good health, longevity, and what it's all about. So there's different perspectives, there's different... Uh, aspects. aspects and there's different degrees that we have to encompass all the things it's like when you go buy something you're not going to buy a piece of something you want to buy the complete piece and we are the completeness of life and so in order to fulfill that 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 health we have to obviously eat well from a, a physical uh, 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 chemical perspective we have to think well from a psychological perspective we have to have balance or pray from a, uh, a spiritual perspective uh, we have to exercise and do things from a, uh, a cardiovascular perspective. And do what makes you happy. Yes. Because yeah. if, at times you don't feel like being happy or there's things that are stopping you from being happy. Look for something that will make you happy, no matter what it is. You know, if it's food, if it's a person, if it's a phone call. That's what you have to do. Make and, yourself. And one of the greatest things uh, for people who don't know that I will share something very special with you in the future. Um, uh, 
things that I do that make me happy that uh, fortunately I was blessed to have a, a, a friend, a close friend, take me across seas to Asia. And it turned out to be that I end up working with special need children uh, of bl blind, deaf, autistic, retarded. I don't like to use that word, but um, uh, just special need children. Um, who are beautiful. Who, who are all beautiful. And it gave me a lot of purpose. And I've spent many missions going back and forth. And I'm going to share some things that you are not going to believe. I wish. Um, I will you do should. that. I will do that. But, that but, but the reason why I bring that up is because you don't have to have anything or you don't have to have a lot to be able to touch someone's life. You don't have to be able to be rich to help other people. That's right. Um, richness is from the heart. Riches, Giving from yourself. Correct. R richness comes from the soul that when we're put on this earth, we're already rich because we have... We wake we up have, each morning. That's right. Rich. But we have miracles working with the, yeah. within us every second of our life. And that richness is what we can share and touch other people's lives because there are times in life where we become depressed, we hide in the, in the little hole. We don't want to talk to people for many different reasons. We become so down in the dumps that we just feel like sometimes we want to give up. But that's not going to get you well. What's going to help people out there are other people from other souls, from other lives, from other hearts. That's going to put your hand on someone and say, you know what? I love you. Mm -hmm. All right. OK, I've been there before. You know what? You're not. You, now it's time. It's time for you to live your life. It's time to get up. It's, 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 it's time to stop believing in, in what's not going to ever come true with your life. It's starting to make changes. There's so much to look forward to. There's so much opportunities out there. I'm not talking about money. We're talking about love. We're talking about people. And there's about nothing giving. about giving. Giving is so important. So, you know, if you can right now, and this is something important. This is something I'm going to ask you to do. That if there's someone that you really think about, that you might have been in a little fight, you might have a little quarrel, you may be a little jealous or they might have been jealous of you. Don't you know, hold grudges. Okay, don't hold grudges. But if you, there's something inside you that's really bothering you and limiting you, you might want to just pick up a phone or send a letter or do something to say, hey, listen, you know what? I know it's been three years, one year, 10 years, 20 years. And I just want to say, you know, I'm thinking of you. I hope you're doing well and I'm here for you. You know, that little bit of giving this can really change someone's life. It's like when we talk about different uh, health remedies, that a lot of the remedies, people say, well, why do I have so many different remedies? Maybe sinus problems or, 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 or diets, whatever it is. Because not all remedies work for every person. That there are some that's going to work better for others. And that's the same way life goes, is that not everyone has like one pill that they're going to take their whole life. People, that's why there's so many different pills and different things out there, certain nutrients, certain ways of life. So we're not, go ahead, what do you want to say? No, no, you finish, I'll talk. Okay, so from that perspective, now, all right, let me just finish this. No, all you right. can finish. The, 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 the point I'm saying, if you just tuned in, we're talking about longevity, we're talking about health, we're talking about healing. Now, we talked about my mother, if you just tuned in with us, she does not let little things bother her. She does not let stress break her apart. She does not take things to bed. Yeah, does things are on her mind? Yeah, it's normal. Um, are, are things you're bothered with for temporarily? Yeah, but you cannot dwell on that negative. It's going to rip you apart. Your horm mm -hmm. The stress hormones are going to destruct you. Yes. Yes. You must have a way of releasing your stress. So how do you release your stress? I release my stress by writing. Okay, that's what she does. Uh, yes. Many of you have seen in community my mother's posts, and she has more, and I like to post more of them. Yes. She loves to write. Mm -hmm. That's her way out. So yes. what are we learning from my mother? We're learning that what is your way out? What are things that you enjoy doing? What are some habits or hobbies? Um, it may be just walking, walking in nature and singing. And maybe, singing in the rain. Or maybe whatever it is. But there's no right or wrong thing. No. So, so yeah, that's correct. Don't go to bed mad. That's exactly what William says. And I agree. Um, and it's just like with your spouse, your girlfriend, or whoever it may be, your boyfriend. It doesn't matter. The bottom line is don't go to bed mad. Don't go to bed with a conscious of something that's going to keep you from sleeping because it's going to affect your health. Okay, so we finished up the psychological end. All right. Now we're going to go into the we're going to go into the nutritional end. Okay. Okay. okay now that's your end. No, nope, but it's your end too. This is I I already know what I'm going to tell you ahead of time. Okay. In the nutritional end, let's first I just first want to mention that I don't want anyone out there. And I hope that you can pass this message out to your loved ones. 
I don't want anyone out there to think that if you run for a bottle, the bottle is going to help your health. Meaning that there's no bottle of vitamins, nutrients, nothing can replace healthy food. I want you all to understand that, okay? There is a, a need for nutrients and vitamins. People are deficient. People may not be having a good diet. But if you eat a healthy diet, which not all of us do, you do not need to take nutrients. You do not need to take vitamins. You do not need to take anything. I'm sure most of us would agree with that. Yes, you need to drink water. Okay. Water? Yeah, oh, that's, that's, that's the most important. It. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So from a perspective of nutritional, I am going to say something that I think is extremely important that I've learned through my mother that as we get older, one of the key things to good health is to not overeat, not overeat. And it seems like that all the time, the months, the years, I take my mother out, she's always taking food home. I said, why don't you eat your meal? She says, I'm, I'm, I'm okay, I'm full right now, I don't need to eat it. So I think the lesson here is that, you know, as we're, as we're kids, as we're younger, our parents always say, eat everything on your plate. But as we get older, I think the plate kind of goes upside down and turns around. Better to push it away. Yeah, so I think that's a good lesson because if you are overweight, all right, if you're obese, let me see it, let me see it in a nice way. If you are over fat, if you are, if you, if you, if you are, if you are plumped and beautiful, like I said, however you want to hear it, it doesn't matter. The bottom line is you are overeating. You're overeating. You're overeating. And okay. we all, we all have a tendency to do that. So that's normal. That's yeah. normal. Okay. And so, as you get older, it's much more difficult. That's to correct. Lose. That's correct. Because as we get older, our metabolism slows Changing. down. Yeah. So our metabolism slows down. Guess what? Our whole body chemistry slows down. Everything slows down. And we're not as active. We're, exactly. Exactly. So there you go. I can't dance for two hours anymore. Yeah. So the bottom line is our metabolism does slow down. Not only does our metabolism slows down, our regulation of our hormones as well as our enzymes become changed as well. For example, we, we secrete less hydrochloric acid. That's why we see more people have stomach issues, gastric reflux. Uh, we have other issues of digestive issues. Uh, now, a lot of that has to do with our food as well. But another thing is that because of the fact that if you live in certain countries, like one of them is the United States, where we are right here, uh, the biggest problem with the United States is there's too much processed and refined foods on the shelves. Too much processed and refined foods. That is killing people because it's like eating just plain flour or just plain dead food or sugar oh sugar but it's just plain dead food that has no nutritional value and that's what's destructing our system because of what tastes good doesn't mean always obviously it's not always good for you what's that water water yeah we know we should drink water yeah how much water should we be drinking minimally a day your body weight no come on <laughs> all right half of your body weight oh, in ounces excuse me. i knew it had something to do with that's correct body. correct okay so if you're, if you're 150 pounds, at least 75 ounces of water, minimally, all right? Those are just general standards. Now, let's say that you spend a lot of time in a really humid environment, you work outside, uh, that's a different story, you need to drink more water, okay? Very important, water's really, really important. Um, now, what I love about water, by the way, is that when it comes to losing weight, Water is one of your best natural diuretics. So if you are retaining lots of fluid uh, and you are like bloaty and you're having a hard time or you're like craving food all the time uh, or you just can't control yourself, if you drink a cup of water or two cups of water, before you know, you before eat. you eat or a half hour, 20 minutes before you eat, it's going to give you a lot of satiety. And that's really going to help you lose weight because water is really one of the best things when it comes to losing weight. It's all about having satiety, satiety. How do you spell that? S-A-T-I-E-T-Y, satiety, wow. satiated, means full, okay? The other two things you can do to keep you full, three things, fiber, okay? People Which are, is? Okay, your apple, I mean, your fruits, your vegetables, your, your, your lettuces, your kales, your carrots. You have soluble fiber and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber uh, absorbs fluid, absorbs the water, okay? It swells. So like chia seeds are your great soluble fiber. You eat chia seeds, uh, it starts to swell in your stomach. It's good protein, it's good fiber. 
One of the greatest fibers that you can have out of any fruit, what do nuts. you think it is? Nuts is good fiber too. They have soluble and insoluble fiber. Soluble fiber lowers cholesterol. Insoluble fiber, insoluble fiber will help regulate blood sugar level. But both kinds of fiber will slow the absorption of, of, of food that goes from the stomach into the small intestine. So if we slow the digestive process, that means the sugars, the glucose, are being converted to glucose from the carbohydrates. When they get into the bloodstream, you only have a little bit going in at a time because digestion's slowing down. You know, Versus, well, no, you're interrupting me. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. So this is important. Okay. So what that means is that if you're eating simple sugars or you're drinking Coke, you're drinking sodas, all that quick glucose is getting right in the bloodstream, spikes your sugar up, go, and then the insulin has to spike up, and now you're on a roller coaster. And too much of that's going to leave the insulin resistance. So when you have fiber, it slows it down. It doesn't give you that rush. You don't feel tired a half hour, hour after you eat, and you have good energy. It's very good for your system. The other thing is, good fats and what probably one of the best fruits that you can eat it's green what is it apple no that's a good one too better than that what's green uh greenish gets turns black green in the avocado avocado there you go okay so the avocado monounsaturated fatty acids no saturated very 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 small saturation but it, it's it's filled with so much fiber and if you're on ketogenic, you're on any type of diet, you want to keep your carbs low, eat avocado because avocado is a great satiety fruit and the avocado will slow the absorption of sugars into the, into the bone, into the uh, bloodstream. It won't put a burden on the pancreas. So avocados are one of my favorite. And if you don't eat only fiber or fat, eating protein, like you said, like nuts. is Eggs. A, eggs, eggs are great. Eggs keep you satiated too. Protein keeps you satiated. Satiated keeps you full. So if you have a little bit of nuts throughout the day, in the middle of your meals. Oh, but I have to ask you a question. Okay, wait. Hold on one second. If you have a little bit of nuts in the middle of your meals, okay, it's going to keep you satiated. You're not going to get that, that, that big surge. Go ahead. What's your question? Okay, I don't know if it was you that told me or if I read it. Yes. Um, they say eat four cashews nuts um, and it was see what happens. That was probably me. Um... And now I got, I bought the no, the no salt one. Yeah, but very few, very few people eat four cashews. They eat 40 oh, cashews. Oh, they eat 40. Or 400. I know, I'm just saying. Okay. And it says, watch what will happen after eating four Well, well basically, cashews. any nut, all nuts have myelinsaturated that fats. That is supposed to be. All nuts are good for your cardiovascular Would system. Would you like some? I have some. No, thank you. All nuts will actually, will lower your cholesterol. Uh, nuts keep you satiated. It's good fats. Oh, Just, I like cashews. No, but pistachios are healthier than cashews. Walnuts well, I, are healthier. I know, but, but, okay. but cashews are easier but, but to But while, while, while we're nuts, okay, a little bit here. We uh, are nuts. Okay, let me tell you, let me talk about a, a, really, great, a really great mineral for your, for your body, for your health, for your immune system, is selenium. And uh, selenium, okay, which, which nut has selenium in it? Uh, walnut. No. Um, chestnut. Nope. Does um, anyone, can anyone tell me? Well, let me see how smart they selenium. are. Selenium. What Sele is selenium? Selenium is a mineral. Selenium is, uh, helps our immune system. It helps fight off pathogens. It builds. Oh, um, see that? Yeah, here you go. No, no, almond. no. GF24 Brazil nut. Chris almond. Brazil nut. Look at this. Sinatra Brazil nut. Ashley Brazil nut. Diastri see, Brazil nut. God's me. Grace Naka Brazil nut. Doris yeah, King, Brazil nut. I call, they look Sandy, like hey, look, Sandy, I just saw you up there. You did? Yeah, that's Sandy. That's my mother's name, Sandy, by the way. Okay. D, okay, you guys got it down, Brazil nuts. They, now, what's Brazil amazing... Nuts, but, they're, but they're so hard to chew. No, no. It's you like can a, pulverize not, them. No, 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 Brazil nuts aren't hard to chew. You're, not, you're, you're, not, you're eating the nut, not the, not the shell. I, no. Oh, I understand, yeah, but no, they're no. big and hard like Yeah, this, so right? hammer them. Take a hammer and hammer it if you have to. Drink it, whatever you got to do. But Brazil nuts, all you need is two of them. You get more selenium in two Brazil nuts than any food and on the planet. And what is selenium? What is that It's, it's, it's uh, the, the micronutrient. Not like it's a, selenium, Dion. Selenium uh, does a lot of things. Um, it builds the immune system. It, it, it has many different enzymatic, enzymatic functions within the body. Uh, it, selenium is, is, is something very important. Better selenium, than D3? It's totally different. Totally oh, different. Okay. Yeah, your body needs selenium. Okay, let's uh, Now, selenium. we talk about, someone mentions macadamia nut. 
Yeah. Probably, now if you're on ketogenic diet, the macadamia nut is the way to go. Macadamia nuts are really good in the ketogenic. Uh, I love pistachios. She says we're cute. Mussels, uh, mussels good for zinc too there. Uh, yeah, hello like Canada. Okay. All right, chia seeds and other super seeds. Yeah, very good. Uh, you know what, really one of the healthiest diets are your seeds. Your seeds really are powerful, like your, you know, your sesame, your sunflower. But seeds are, are extremely healthy. Yeah. But people with IBS can't have. Oh that. no, that's true. That's not true anymore. No. That's changed. Really? No, the research. What the, made that change? The research shows that uh, uh, the people who have like the diverticulosis, diverticulitis, yes. they said the seeds would make the condition worse. And the yes. new research says that's not true. Oh. Uh, as long as it's chewed up well, as long really? as it's, you know. Uh, uh, and that's not true anymore. So people were living by that. Okay. Uh, and the other thing that people were saying, you know, when you have uh, 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 like, 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 like strep, I'm sorry, uh, was it strep? strep? No, no, it wasn't strep. I'm strep trying to think of growth? something. Else. No, no, no. I'm trying to think of something else that, oh, dentists in the past were saying on certain procedures, they would always give antibiotics because they were saying that certain things within the mouth can affect the heart and they were always given antibiotics, yeah. that's changed too. Yeah. A lot of things change over science over time. Hemp seeds are great. Yeah. Right, let's ask you guys uh, 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 pine nuts. Oh, by the way, let's talk about seeds and uh, nuts a little bit. I wanna, let's, I'm gonna go to the chat here and I wanna, I wanna yeah. communicate with the chat a little bit. Oh, I just wanna know yeah. what the difference between seeds and nuts. Uh, they're they're the same? No, no, uh, they're totally different things. I, oh, I, okay. Yeah, th that's a whole Maybe different- Maybe they th know. That, well, that's a whole different topic, but let me just go into to something about the pine nut. Um, people, here's something really cool. Um, if you Google pine nut oil and you're having like uh, H. pylori or gastritis or problems with your, uh, your gut or your stomach, uh, cold pressed pine nut oil, extra virgin cold pressed pine nut oil um, can kill H. pylori. Pine nut oil takes away your stomach problems as well as mastic gums, but they're both very good. But let's, um, pine nut oil, pine nuts are good. Let me ask you a little bit about nuts or seeds, anything you'd like to comment on, conditions that it's helped you or people that you know of that maybe you can recommend to, to other people listening and you can actually educate us as well. Yep. Um, certain seeds, let's go into a little bit of seeds and nuts. Uh, what can you uh, tell us, because obviously in certain countries, it's more pronounced for seeds and nuts in other yeah, countries. Yeah, well, I know seedy people yeah. and nutty people. Too. Well, yeah, yeah. Happy Fourth of July to you too. Yeah. Uh, can you heal fatty liver as well? Yes. First thing is losing weight. Get on some psyllium mirror and some milk thistle and some dandelion. There you go. All right. Let's see. Flax seeds are really good. Yeah, but flax seeds are going to be grounded up. Uh, uh, your chia seeds do not have to be grounded up. Is pine nut tree oil and pine nut the same? Uh, pine nut? No. Pine tree oil? No. They're different. Pine tree oil and pine nut. Are, are, I believe are different. You got to get from the nut. Uh, Brazil nuts are extremely healthy. Pumpkin seeds, I love pumpkin seeds. Uh, lots like of magnesium. Yeah. I like, I love pumpkin seeds. What about sunflower okay. seeds? Sunflower seeds I like, lots of good things. Black seed oil is another one. Black seed oil comes from the black cumin. The black cumin is called nigella sativa. Uh, and uh, that's a great natural anti-inflammatory. It actually will lower blood pressure and help diabetes and help insulin resistance. Good. Okay. Let's go, love from India, black beans. Uh, sometimes people have a problem with raffinose, which raffinose is the sugar in black beans. You may sometimes take digestive enzymes like raffinase, uh, but sometimes that can be quite gassy, but I do love legumes. Legumes are great, they will lower blood sugar levels. Uh, they will slow up your digestion, they will lower cholesterol as well. Yeah, I do like my legumes. Uh, I particularly like, uh, 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 hmm, hold on a second. Legumes? No legumes, but uh, we look at rice. White rice obviously is no good. Oh, by the way, uh, has anyone ever heard of um, what is it? Berry. Hold on a second. Oh, rice, rice berry. Has anyone ever heard of rice berry rice? Rice berry. No. You got to check it out. What is it? Um, do I have more of it here? Uh, I don't know. I don't uh, know if I have it here. I don't know. You have any more rice berry? No. No more? No more rice berry, uh -oh, huh? Oh, Okay, we, we had some rice berry. Somebody Wait, listen to this. Check this out. Google rice berry rice. You ain't going to believe it. It's probably one of the most healthiest rices on the planet. Today? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no what, more No more rice berry. What um, color is that? It's red. It's like, it's like, it's like a berry. I never yeah, saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, well, I was going somewhere before. I know. Wait a second. Uh, 
So we talked, oh, so we're talking about white rice. White rice is no good. White rice is the fine, a little bit of white rice is not going to hurt you, but there's brown. no, brown rice is better. It's the whole state. It's going to slow digestion up. Rice, right, white rice will spike insulin, glucose levels. Brown rice will make it more sustainable, more complex. It has more fiber. White rice, the fiber's taken out. But quinoa, you guys like quinoa. Quinoa is really the way to go. Quinoa is really healthy. Lots what of protein. It? Quinoa is a whole grain, whole grain. Whole grain, quinoa is delicious. And where do you buy that? Uh, like anywhere, cereal? anywhere. No, quinoa, you make it just like rice. Oh, yeah, really and good. And it's the same content? Yeah, hello, Serbia. Nice to have you here. Uh, lentils are great. I like lentils. Yeah, I like lentils. You gotta soak them first. I like them in soup. Yes, great, I love lentil soup. Okay, low stomach acid. Um, the Most people who have acid reflux uh, most people who have... I do. Okay, well, that's a problem because you still lower your stomach acid, and that's one thing I tell you you're doing wrong. See that? All right. I do low, wrong. Let me, Well, let me explain something to you. That's okay. Okay, let me explain something to you. When you have low stomach acid, okay, why is this? Let, let's, let's tear this apart a little bit, guys. And thank you so much for hanging out with us in the chat. We've got about 800 people there watching you. Wow. But um, let's think about this. As we get older, we have more stomach problems. Now let's, let's just think. Let's just think about the revolution of how things move forward, how how things go in time. When we're younger, uh, kids, yeah, crazy teenagers, all right, they're drinking beer, they're doing all kinds of bad stuff, they're eating crap all day long. They get a stomach ache. Next day you wake up, you're okay. Okay. Right. Us as adults, we drink a beer, we eat crap. It takes us a week, two weeks, sometimes <laughs> a month, two months to get better. Am I right or wrong? No, for real. I'm not, I'm not kidding around. All right, so what happens is, I'm hitting, moving the tables, my bad, my bad. I'm shaking the camera a little bit. Yeah, because your arm's okay. gonna hit yeah. me in the nose. Yeah, I gotta keep my hands off. My bad, my job. bad. Okay, so what happens, why is it, here's my question for you, for all of you. Why is it that as we get older, we start developing more gastric problems? Yeah, all right? everybody. All right, okay, well I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. The gastroenterologists, the internists, a lot of doctors are not gonna agree with me, okay, and I'll tell you why. All right, so we develop more stomach, acid reflux, gas, burning, indigestion, bloating, colitis, constipation. Some years of eating. Okay, no, not necessarily years. It does have an effect. You know, there's a lot of stuff. Accumulation. Sitting. It does th certain things do, but but I'm gonna explain why, and the reason why is because we produce less hydrochloric acid. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? Hydrochloric acid is obviously from the chief cells, parietal cells in the stomach, um, acids are being secreted for many reasons. Acid, the pH of one, is there in the stomach to help digest foods, primarily proteins. Proteins are digested into amino acids. Amino acids are then digested into the, the small intestine, in the protein. duodenum. No, and what happens is when you're not digesting your foods correctly, that food that's not fully digested can then start leading to other problems in the intestine because now you have your body reacting to potentially a foreign substance that's not recognizing that, that foreign substance. So it starts to react, it starts to become infl inflamed, inflammation. Leaky gut syndrome, everyone here leaky gut syndrome, huh? So uh, leaky gut syndrome is a condition where we start leaking, the gut starts leaking from inflammation. It becomes a little messy. We're not going to go there. But what happens is, as we start having more digestive problems, we, it is directly tied into lack of hydrochloric acid. And what happens is, in order to develop that H. pylori or other conditions, which is helicobacter pylori in the stomach, in order to develop these problems, we have to be lacking acid because the acid will kill the H. pylori. So you need bacteria. The acid. Of course you need acid. Now, why else do you need acid? to digest proteins. Why else do you need acid? To help calcium get in the bone. Why else do you need acid? To help your B12 work better. So it's an okay? overabundance of acid. No, it's a lack of acid. Oh, that's what I said. Yeah, it sounded backwards, yeah. <laughs> so um, you can never really get an overabundance if you have a healthy you know, gastric system, but what happens is when you have acid reflux or burning, your doctor wants to get rid of your acid that you're already low in. Okay, let me explain. You always will have acid. But remember, on top of the stomach, here's my stomach, and here's a little sphincter right here. Above the sphincter, this is my esophagus, this long thing. Here's my mouth up here. I swallow it, it goes right down the esophagus. You have a sphincter right where my elbow is. That sphincter, yep, 
That's correct. The sphincter opens and closes, goes right to my stomach. Here's my stomach. You with me, right? You with me? Here's my stomach. But you got a little sphincter right here called the lower esophageal sphincter. So what happens is when this acid is low, the pressure inside my stomach, which is my hand, if you look, there's the sphincter right there, the pressure becomes lessened and it starts to loosen up a little bit. Look at my finger now. See a little hole right there? Okay. That's the sphincter. Now it's lessened because you have less acid, you have less pressure on your stomach. That's what causes so, heartburn. Right. So now that the open, now that's open, because remember when you swallow, it's supposed to close, so nothing regurgitates. Now that it's open because you have less acid, the acid reflux back up and into the esophagus. All the way up and it comes right all the way up to the throat. It can come yeah. all the way up to here. Okay, people may not even have pain or symptoms right now. You may notice that your throat is always uh, 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 uh. You may feel like you're losing your voice. You feel like you always have phlegm on your throat because you're having acid come up from your esophagus, from your stomach with no symptoms. They call that LPR, laryngopharyngeal reflux. Okay, laryngopharyngeal reflux, LPR. Google it. Okay, I'll be your best diagnosis for you because your doctor's not going to tell you this because they don't know. All right, the new thing, laryngopharyngeal reflux, silent reflux. All right, how do you treat LPR the same way you treat acid reflux? You can go to my videos, okay? Type in acid reflux motivational doc. I got a lot of good stuff for you. If you are a new person you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Yeah. Okay, listen to me. I'm not here about numbers. I'm here about people. I'm here about love. I'm here about health. I don't care about numbers. I tell you to subscribe so you can learn, so you can become healthier, so you can help educate your family. That's all I'm asking you. If you don't want to subscribe, that's okay with me. But I'm telling you, you should because you're going to get... You learn a lot. You're, you're going to learn. You're, listen, what I teach you, I still have to learn. What do I do? I read, I read, I Google, I go on Medline, I go on PubMed. I'm always reading. That's what I enjoy doing. I am officially retired as a doctor from my practice. I had my practice many, many, many years. Recently. Okay, I recent. recently retired so I can give you more love. I love being on the camera. I don't like working for insurance companies. I don't like collecting money from patients. I don't have to have to worry about staff and overhead. I love doing this kind of stuff. This is my passion. Okay, I've been involved with media for since I got out of school. But I love people like you and I love the media that I'm able and capable to do this. I love more than anything, more than anything, have my mother here with us. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's fun. That's excitement. Okay, it's not about numbers. It's not about subscribers. I don't care if I had two subscribers or if I had 200 million subscribers. It doesn't matter to me. I am not going to change. All right, I am me. I am who I am. So that's important. I forgot what I was even talking about. But that's okay. I love when you talk about yourself because you very rarely do not. Well, and there is so much more to you than people know. And one day I believe you should release a lot of the things that you have done in the past that how many people and millions of people who you've helped throughout the well, years with your own money and your own time and your own love that you gave that people must be aware of in this world because they know you as a good person, and that's what you are, a wonderful person, but they do not know all the things that's that you okay. have done for humanity. That's what, I, that's what I call a typical mother that loves her no, son. No, it's, it's that I, I have to say this, and he may not like it, but I have to say that my son received the humanitarian award from the Chiropractic Association National uh, chiropractic Association for being a humanitarian and he was only the fourth recipient since 1931. Third? Th third. Third. Well, he was the fourth recipient. Or no, I was, I was a third. Excuse was, me. He yeah. was the third recipient in the world, in the United States, for being, getting this award, a humanitarian award for all the things that he did throughout the years helping people, blind people, sick people, deaf people. Okay. And it's time that people knew that. Thank you very much. Before you make me cry. Okay. So, um, you feel better now? Yes. Okay. Because it's a mother's place to brag. Wow. Yeah. So, anyways, I'm sweating now. I am too. Yeah. 
That's because my air conditioning not working very well. Right? I'm sweating. Okay, it's because I talk about you. So. No. But that's okay. You know, he doesn't like it. He, he, he doesn't like take center stage or anything like that. He just does things from his heart. Okay, 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 okay. Very and nice. And I, I hope you appreciate him. I, I, I appreciate you very much. Thank you. Okay. Okay. As long as it makes a mother feel good, it makes me feel good, right? Yes. Okay. Um, anyways, um, I, I guess we're going to uh, finish up here because uh, uh, if you like, if you like to be, leave a few questions on, on your chat, uh, kind of change the topic because I don't want to get too emotional here. No. Um, if you want to leave talk a few. Talk about happy. Yeah, talk about happy things. Um, if you, if you read what these people are reading right here, I can't see it. I know that, but what I'll do is that uh, I will um, probably go back, cut off the front part of this. Maybe leave this on the channel so you yes, can go back and read I would it sometime. Love to read it. Absolutely. If you just read these messages, they're, they're really touching. That's good. Yeah. I love it. Okay. Any any last question you'd like to ask? Um, it, it's not so much a question as to why we're here, uh, and I think Doc explained that to you. We're here because we feel if we could help one person or two people or ten people. Uh, by just giving them a bit of information about how to keep them healthy and strong and mindful, uh, we've, we've <clears> done a good job. Well, anyways, most important is that, you know, um, LPR supplements. Let's talk about this real quick. Let me just answer a few questions. I had to get my mind off. You're making me a little, a little too emotional. Um, okay. Oh, my okay. God. I'm, I'm sweating. sweating. Yeah, I'm sweating. Okay. LPR. Let's go to LPR real quick. LPR, laryngopharyngeal reflux. LPR is silent reflux. If you just tuned in, thank you for hanging out with us here. Um, we're going to be ending up soon. We've been on uh, almost 45 minutes. Really? Yeah. Whoa. I will, I will go back because normally I don't leave live feeds up, but because this is a little special and just a little bit touching and a little heartwarming, I may end up leaving this on my channel because I normally don't leave live feeds. I know it's long. And I'd love for people to see it. Well, no, but these people have wrote such nice things about you. Really? And the only, the only reason why I would leave it up is because of you, not me. Oh, All right? okay. All right, because you want to just, Thank I you. mean, these, they wrote hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of beautiful things about you. So I want you to see this, more, not me. I, I'm, I'm reading it. I, I, I'm pretty quick. I could do three four things at one time. I know, but I you can't. I can't me. speak three or four things at one time, but I could think oh, three or four yeah, things. Oh, yeah, you speak good. Okay, no. So... Um, let me just talk real quick about LPR. If you just tuned in, if you have any type of reflux, a silent reflux, the laryngopharyngeal reflux, LPR, if you look it up, it's silent reflux. This has come out the biggest and the greatest in diagnosis, particularly through, through gastroenterologists as well as ENTs. They see a lot of this kind of stuff because a lot of people get throat problems and they don't know where it's coming from. Uh, it's coming from acid, silent reflux. Yes, it does so, hurt your throat. So what are some good supplements that we can uh, do with reflux or silent reflux or even acid reflux. Well, let me just go over a few important things, all right? Number one, um, the majority of people who have acid reflux or even silent reflux will benefit from apple cider vinegar, a tablespoon, and a full glass of water. If that seems to aggravate your stomach and you don't have an ulcer, try this. Dilute it to a half a tablespoon or a quarter of a tablespoon. Just keep diluting it till it doesn't bother you and stay on that for a little while. And when, it's, when things feel good after a week or so, then just up it a little bit more. How and about wait, wait, well, I'm finishing this. I got to finish this. Okay. And the reason why I'm telling you to put acid back into your stomach is because that's going to help mm. your, your lower esophageal sphincter. All right. It's very safe. It's very helpful. Apple cider vinegar is a great detoxifier. It's great to help sustain normal sugar balance and levels. If you have problems with your sugar when you eat, if you're diabetic, pre-diabetic, or even insulin resistant, start having a glass of apple cider vinegar uh, about 15 minutes before you eat, and it's going to help sustain normal sugar levels. We can test it. It's been measured. It's proven. <laughs> what am I doing, smacking you? You will. Okay. <laughs> so it's proven. So that's one thing. I, wait, what? one other thing. It's the same topic? Cider, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Okay, because I know people who use it on salad and salad dressing. Yeah, it's fine. You could do it on there. Any yeah. way. Any way is good. Any way is good. Okay. Um, the other thing is citric acid. Citric acid are your limes and your lemons. And it has the same pH as apple cider vinegar, 2 to 3 pH. Remember, hydrochloric acid is 1 pH. 
So if you have a two to three pH of citric acid of the lemon or acetic acid of the apple cider vinegar, it's going to give you the same effect in your stomach. The acid is going to help your lower esophageal sphincter. If you take a little bit of water and lemon, a full glass of water, squeeze some lemon in it, half a lemon, a quarter of a lemon, it should not hurt you. And if you say, well, I'm already acidic, the lemon's acidic, the lemon works the opposite way in your system. It converts it and makes it more alkaline. But the thing I like about the lemon, it helps the digestive juices, helps digestive enzymes work and function better. It increases peristalsis in the intestine. When it increases peristalsis, you have more regulation, more flow of the intestine, you're not gonna carry your waste as long. You're gonna feel much better. It's gonna get rid of your bloating. And if you drink apples, if you drink apple cider vinegar and water or lemon and water, it's, the way it's gonna take care of your bloating too is that the more water you take in, the more detox, the more you detoxify your system, the, the, the more bloating is going to go away. So if you're eating, uh, let's say uh, you're, you're bloated, you ate too much sodium. If you have too much sodium in your body and you're bloated, you want to have more water. Don't think that because you're bloated, don't take in any more water. The water will filter out the sodium and get rid out of the body quicker, and you're going to get rid of that bloating. Another thing you can do is add more potassium. Potassium and sodium work hand in hand. So if your potassium level is high or sodium is low, if, you look, if your sodium is high, your potassium is going to lower. If you start taking more potassium, it's going to equal out your sodium level, the bloating is going to go away. The other thing, um, one other important thing, I wanted to say it, sk skip my mind. Hold on, hold on. Uh, talking about bloating. It was something important I wanted to say. But anyways, um, uh, the one other very important thing. Lemon, apple cider no, vinegar? No, we talked about apple cider vinegar, we talked about lemon. There was one other very important thing I wanted to mention. Oh, this is it. Okay. Now, we talk about water. We talk about lemon and water, apple cider vinegar and water. Let's say you're pre-diabetic. Let's say you're insulin resistant. Let's say your insulin levels, let's say your sugar, your glucose levels are 105, 120, 130, 140, 160. If you drink more water, guess what? It's going to flush it out of the blood more. It's going to come down. All right? So if you are insulin resistant or you have higher insulin, high, I'm sorry, if you have more sugar, more glucose in your bloodstream, by increasing your water intake will help the kidneys excrete more glucose out of your body, lowering your glucose in your blood. That's important. Yeah. Okay? That's important. All right. So, I think we're about at the end here, huh? Yeah, I think it's been great. Yeah. So, so anyways, um, I just want to just real quick, just for two, one minute, Tell me where you're from outside the U.S. or tell me where you're from anywhere. Just real quick, I want to see who's listening. Uh, Europe, Africa, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, Israel, wherever you're tuning in from. Just real quick, and I'll mention it. Okay, uh, am I from South Africa? No, I wish I was. Uh, no, not from South Africa. Hello anyways from South Africa. Oklahoma, let's see what, uh, where you're from. Piri, Flor Piri, Florida. A lot of people from Florida out there. Where we're from, Hong Kong, hello there. Canada, thank you, uh, England, for tuning in with us. Uh, Irving, California, Boston, hugs from Mindy, thank you so much, India from Alervia, uh, UK, New Zealand, India, UK, London, United Arab Emirates, Jamaica, India, Florida, California, India, keep going guys, come on, let's go, New Hampshire, thank you guys, Jamaica, Yaman, Tuscan, Trinidad, Ohio, Luxembourg, Florida, Spain, Minnesota, England, uh, Pennsylvania, Nicaragua, South Africa, India, uh, California, Netherlands, England, Kentucky, India, Nigeria, all the way in Africa, UK, United Kingdom, Birmingham, Ohio, Monaco, Ireland. Thank you so much. Okay. Prayers out to you and your family. Give them a little prayer. Put your hands together. Prayers out to you and your family. Wishing everyone good health. Thank you so much for um, giving my mother that love. 